Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be ranking the worst player from every MLB team. I'm not going to say that these are the objectively worst players, but this is pretty much like the worst hitter on every single team. I'm not really taking much into account their glove or anything else. Just, you know, they're hitting and their value. I will say because we're ranking them on a tier list. So you know what that means. If you do enjoy the video, remember to leave a like as well as subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, we're going to be starting off with an interesting one, and we're going to rank these as far as comparing it to the lower end players in base. Michael A. Taylor, if you compare him to all these players, probably goes into the solid tier, which we're going to go through the tiers. Elite, above average, solid, which we change from um, average to solid. Low average in the walking trash cans. Has a good glove, but overall, not a good hitter. Akil Badu, probably going to go into solid, kind of on this fringe. Storybook start to his last season, but just not very good this year. Overall, he'll probably get better as he progresses cody bellinger as far as everybody on this list goes he's probably above average i don't know if i don't know about elite maybe compared to these guys just can't hit for contact for the life of him jj blade has looked like he is struggling mightily i mean he went into an awful like 0 for 34 slump or something like that cole calhoun plays fine defense but like overall is hitting can kind of hit for power i think he's below average he's not that great compared to everybody here jake cave probably below average he's just a little bit older is his problem uh, we can put him in a solid cesar hernandez plays like plays the infield pretty well but this year his powers went away he hit like 20 some home runs last year i think he has like one this year probably solid i believe this is jack swinski now jack swinski has some defensive value but overall probably just below average his bat's not very good guillermo heredia i believe is who this is he's also probably below average he does not look that great at the plate ikf i think that people gave him way too much hate let's remember dude he plays a sick defense at shortstop and he can hit for contact he's like a 260 270 hitter not gonna hit you a ton of home runs and that's obvious but overall pretty soft i think the same kind of goes for ha sung kim except for that hitting wise he's kind of the opposite he can only hit for power can't really hit for contact but he plays like incredible defense and has a cannon of an arm connor joe kind of a scrappy little player probably goes in the solid tier started off the year pretty hot but even in core is not looking that great i believe this is shay Longoliers. um probably below average tommy Lastella, i think he's playing hurt right now overall kind of below average can't really hit for much contact can't really play defense much anymore brandon marsh of the phillies now he i know he's got the angels in this one but swap these two hats on here overall if you compare him to everybody here above average has hitting value and plays elite defense Chaz mccormick oh he's a tough one man i had really high hopes for him but he just has not been great this year i probably put him in solid on this fringe mickey moniac is he a walking trash can he's kind of there he got better when he got to la i will say that he's kind of got more of that vibe tomas nito this is a walking trash can and it's not even a question oh my gosh he's bad he cannot hit rugan odor very similar not very good i believe this is actually geraldo perdomo he hasn't played a ton but since we've seen him below average tommy fam if you compare him to everybody here probably actually above average because he plays good defense and he walks a lot roman quinn below average he can play good defense he's very 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 fast and he can put the ball in play in time oh lord is this austin romine he can't hit oh my gosh frank schwindel has not looked good this year probably solid compared to everybody here though miles straw probably solid as well i mean oh my gosh rymel tapia can feel he's probably solid tyrone taylor he's below average though i don't know i'm gonna be real i think this is abraham toro but i might be actually completely wrong regardless of who it is it either be toro or casali i made this list i just i don't know why i can't remember either one they're below Low average. Wani Apez looks decent and looks like he has potential, but overall, probably just solid. He can hit for power. Good first baseman to have. Last but not least, Sebi Zavala probably below average i think we need to pick somebody here and put him into elite it'd be such a cliche thing to put cody bellinger into elite but it, he kind of is compared to everybody here hits bro who do i think is the best out of here or maybe i guess this is a bad thing to have like elite on a, i mean it just doesn't feel right but whatever all right that's the list thank you for watching if you do enjoy remember to leave a like as well as subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace out have a blessed one